welcome back today i'm going to perform a small video on how to configure a dhcp server in palo alto uh, this is my small topology in this topology i have uh, three zones one is inside which is connected to eth1 slash 2 one is outside which is connected to eth1 slash 1 and the end zone which is connected to 1 slash 3 okay i have already logged into uh, uh, palo alto so i got the management server as a ip address as a 192.168.238 or 208. So first we will create a three zones in Palo Alto and we will assign the IP address with respect to uh, inter interfaces. Uh, for inside, I got a 192.168.1.0/24 network or uh, ETH1/1 that is outside. So I'm connected to a uh, internet, which is a uh, management interface, which is having a 192.168. 38.2 subnet so in that range i have given uh, 210 uh, for dmc i am using a 192.168.2.0 network uh, and i am assigning eth1 slash 3 as a 192.168.2.100 so quickly we will set up uh, we will assign the interface ip address and later we will configure the dhcp to get the inside interfaces uh, uh, now uh, to get the allocate the automatically the ip address from the dhcp pool so let's jump into the uh, palo alto uh, go to the network first i will create a management interface so i want to uh, ping uh, i want to allow ping at least one ping to, for the test purpose and go to the zones uh, create a three zones that is Send and time should be a layer 3 and one more zone that is outside and time should be a layer 3 and one more is DMZ and time should be a layer 3 so we have created an interface management we have created a zones so now we will create the interfaces and we will assign the ip addresses as per the topology eth1 slash 1 which is connected to outside and interface time should be a layer 3 and i want to uh, assign interface to virtual router as by default i will go with that one security zone so which is which is outside and ip address is 192.168.238. 210 as per the topology 192.168.238.210 with the slash 24 go to the advanced and attach the interface management profile click on ok similarly we will do it for on slash 2 and that should be a layer 3 and virtual router default network zone inside and go to the IPv4 and we got a 192.168.1.100 for inside network 192.168.1.100/24 go to the advanced and attach the ping profile for DMZ it is connected to DMZ and interface time should be a layer 3 and virtual doctor as default security zone as dmg and ipv4 as 1.168.2.100 slash 24 go to the advance and assign the pin profile so as of now we have assigned the ip and to the interface now we will go to the virtual routers for creating a uh, will be using a default uh, virtual router profile go to the static routes and uh, static route and destination is my outside that is uh, any network which is going to the internet interface is as it out, outside, uh, outside interface that is uh, ethernet one slash one and next hop IP address is my next hop is 192.168.238.2 which is my next hop click on ok click on ok 
so we have done interface zones route and virtual routers so now we will allow the policy from inside to outside for the internet test purpose i will create in to out so this is my inside network destination is my outside any application any services action is allowed click on ok and create an ad for that and go out that originates package is coming from my inside network which is going to outside and which is taking the interface on slash one services you can keep it uh, with based on your requirement so i will keep in services any translation packet uh, is i want to translate dynamic ip and port uh, with interface address uh, interface is my e1 slash one that is outside interface and ip address is 192.168.238.210 click on ok so as of now we have done the basic configuration like you know, signing the ip address creating a zones and uh, so, uh, creating a rule and that. so as of now the, I have not done any DHCP configurations so first I will commit the changes and then we will go to the uh, okay so I will, will right away will create a uh, DHCP as well so go to the network and in right and left hand side we all get our DHCP option there are two uh, options here dhcp server and dhcp relay uh, dhcp server is like you know uh, firewall uh, will act as a dhcp uh, server which is going to assign the ip address dhcp relay is is nothing but firewall uh, we will have a dedicated uh, dhcp server now uh, windows xp or windows server so it will act as a dedicated server from that we are getting the ip address to the uh, all the host so go to the uh, network and uh, dhcp and click on as of now we don't have any uh, uh, dhcp uh, port details click on add interface which uh, interface you wanted to assign as a dhcp so i as per the topology i want to assign uh, inside interface that is e1 slash 2 e1 slash 2 uh, there are two nodes auto enable disable so i want to enable this one and uh, here is the ip pool so what ip pools you wanted to have so i want to create a ip pool as 192.168.1.200 so go to the options if you have any reserved ip so you can add it here so as of now i'm not adding any uh other ips go to the options here you can see interface source is none so it has which is the gateway so my gateway is one two one six two one dot hundred and subnet mask is 24. you can provide primary dns uh have a dot date dot date dot date have any second so apart from this if, have, if you have any win ntp so i'm doing a basic configuration just for to show the dhcp server so click on okay click, click on commit and i will pause this video until its uh, configuration commits it successfully Okay, before that, I will log into the Windows machines. So uh, I will check whether what IP addresses I have that one. Still, I'm, I'm, uh, I have now I'm getting a IP IP address. So once the configurations commit successfully, so I will be getting a DHCP IP service. So configuration committed successfully. Okay, now let's check what IP address I'm getting. Okay, still
okay once after uh, disabling and enabling the network interface so i'm i'm getting a 192.168.1.50 for pc2 so similarly we will check it for pc3 as well okay now i got the 192.168.1.151 ip address so now let's try to open the google dns Okay, I have the connectivity. Now try to access Facebook. Even I have the internet connectivity as well. So can you able to see the Facebook login page? So now let's try to go to the PM and monitor. Session browser. So you can see the logs as well here. So, so I have done with the DHCP configuration in Palo Alto. So I hope this video has been informative for you. And I would like to say thank you for watching.